I call Alec Rowley. Please to close for Labour. Six minutes, please, Mr Rowley. Uh, thank you, President Officer, and I'm happy if you're happy. <laughs> can, I, can I say that, that, that this has been a, a very welcomed debate today, and I think that that is one of the important points moving forward. We actually need to have this debate in here, and I'll commend the work of the Social Security Committee and the report that, that, that you have produced. But we actually need to have this debate within the whole of our country, because poverty and inequality and the levels of poverty and inequality in Scotland are surely not acceptable to anyone within this chamber. And how we tackle inequality and poverty are big, big questions with big, big challenges that are wider than, than the debate we had here today. But it's a debate that the whole of the country, I believe, need to have. And I hope that moving forward from this to stage two, stage three, we will be able to widen that debate in communities right across Scotland. The Cabinet Secretary talked about uh, the UK government, where they announced their intention to repeal significant parts of the Child Poverty Act in 2010. And Jamie Green made the point that, that can we take the politics out of, of here and SNP, good, Tory, bad, I think was, was how he put it. But we have to acknowledge that government can and sh should address poverty and inequality. And it is down to government as to how much we do that or we don't do that. So, as I mentioned to Liz Smith, the, the last Labour government cut child poverty in the UK by over a million. It wasn't by accident that that happened. It was because they introduced policy that targeted poverty and lifted children out of poverty. Over, over this last, last year here, I just find it shocking that we have 40,000 more children in poverty in Scotland today than we did at this time last year. And the projections, projections moving forward are fairly bleak. So it is down to government and it's therefore down to politicians how we address that. Richard Leonard in his speech talked about the need to redistribute not just wealth in this country, but power in this country. So the offerings that come forward from political parties, and I would urge you know, those who are interested in how we tackle the bigger questions to look at the Labour Party manifesto that they are fighting this current election on. Because in there is big ideas about how you redistribute power and wealth within the United Kingdom. And fundamentally, that needs to happen. But the UN, the Committee of the UN Conventions on the Rights for Children, noted when that decision was made that they had serious concern regarding the UK government's repeal of the child poverty targets. It recommended that the UK set up clear accountability mechanisms for the eradication of child poverty, including re-establishing concrete targets within a set time frame and measurable indicators. And that's why I think there is unity across this chamber today in terms of the bill that's come, been brought forward. Although a number of people have said, Alec Neil, Richard Leonard, Pauline McNeil, have said we've got to move beyond simply targets. Because having targets is one thing, being able to address poverty is another. And therefore, action speaks louder than words. Action will speak louder than targets. 40,000 more children in poverty since last year in Scotland. 260,000 children in 2017 in Scotland living in poverty. The Institute of Fiscal Studies are forecasting a 50% increase in child poverty across the United Kingdom by 2020. So under the Tories, the average household income in Scotland fell by over £600 in the last year. 467,000 Scottish people earning less than the living wage. So we must move beyond targets, and that's why Labour are saying that there should be a £10 living wage introduced across 
the whole of the UK. If you're serious about tackling poverty, you need to take the measures to be able to do that. 70% of children living in poverty in Scotland are in a family where at least one person is in work. So it is the question, what are we going to do about that? As Ben McPherson made the point, we need to be able to, when we reach 2030, not simply say another target not met. Because governments of all colours are good at bringing forward targets and then not meeting them. I believe we need from government and from all of us in this debate some coherent proposals moving forward. And part of that is a coherent anti-poverty strategy that despite all the other strategy documents that's there, they have not been pulled together. So I would repeat my request again to the Cabinet Secretary, let's look at what a coherent anti-poverty strategy for Scotland would look like. Bolling McNeill raised the fact that a number of organisations do plan and have put forward the idea of increasing the, the family allowance child benefit by £5 a week. Over the lifetime of this Parliament, if we reach that, we would lift 30,000 children out of poverty. Now, there is a target. There is something as a direct result of a policy we can actually introduce. I do know that sometimes government ministers, when they're no longer ministers, talk about what they should have done when they were ministers. But Alec Neil, uh, from, from his own uh, speech today, says that the cost uh, that he asked when a minister, the cost of addressing those on lower income in Scotland would be £2 billion. I do hope the Social Security Committee will ask Mr Neil to go back and give evidence on that proposal because I think it would be worth looking at. Let's look at what it is that we need to do. On the question, presiding officer, and I'll finish on this, of an ind independent commission, Oxfam have been absolutely clear. They say that it should be fully independent of Scottish Government, both in practice and in perception. I think the Minister, the Cabinet Secretary, needs to take that on board. There is unity within this chamber. We need an independent commission to ensure the scrutiny and make sure that these are not just targets, but they're actually going to be actions that will address poverty in Scotland. Thank you, Mr Rowley.